I'm Jesse Burst. I'm the Managing Director of Global Smart Energy. And I recently, earlier this year, co-founded the Smart Cities Council. Smart Cities the, Council. Smart Cities Council, that's right. Who's on that council? Well, it's a, a coalition of leading vendors advised by some of the, lead, the top academic and research minds in the world. Mm. So our lead, lead partners that sit on the steering committee include uh, AT&T, um, EDF, the giant utility from France, mm -hmm. um, General Electric, uh, IBM, ITRON, Microsoft, National Grid, the big uh, UK utility that also owns utilities in the United States. Smaller companies are with us as well. And then we have about two dozen expert advisors uh, from around the world, the Global Cities uh, Institute from Australia, Climate Group from the UK, the Waterloo Institute for Sustainable Energy in uh, Ottawa, uh, the Citrus Program from Berkeley, two of our national laboratories, and so on. Mm -hmm. So what are the innovation goals of the Smart City Council? We're here to help uh, accelerate the market. So what we're doing is we're looking at the uh, blockers and we're trying to find a way to, to knock them down. What are the blockers you're seeing? Well, we see four. One is technology. What should we do? What should we do first? How can we make sure it all plugs together and works uh, when we get done? Uh, second, financing. How do we pay for it all? A third is policy. How do we find the right regulations and policies that really unleash economic growth and th that also safeguard citizens? Mm -hmm. And then your citizen engagement, if you, if you want. How do we make this visible to citizens? How do we bring them along as full partners? From the start, how do we create a consensus? How do we make a rapid decision? Now, all of this against the backdrop of today's world, where every city is competing with every other city, mm -hmm. where you know cities in China and Asia and South America mm -hmm. and everywhere else are, uh, you know, racing to pull jobs away from each mm -hmm. other. So, say a little mo more about that um, collaboration versus competition, uh, creative tension happening with cities. Yeah, well, I mean, that's the reality that we, we're all sort of painfully uh, learning is that, you know, you, um, geography isn't a limit. The world is hot and flat, as uh, Thomas Friedman said. And so what we've got to do is prepare ourselves to work, to um, operate and succeed in that new world. And the mottos of the Smart City Council are livability, workability, and sustainability. So, and all three of those are important. But right now, as we come out of the global recession, I think it's that middle one that's capturing the most attention. You know, how do we make our cities more workable? How do we ma make it possible for us to get the high quality jobs, the jobs that can't be exported, the jobs where we can get a competitive advantage and the kind of family wages and good lifestyle that we want for our citizens. Say a little bit about the technology obstacle, that first of the four. Well, the, one of the problems we're seeing right now is that uh, first of all, many cities are missing uh, the, the smart cities race, and they're already falling behind because cities all over the world are, are already doing this. But um, uh, in other cases, people are going after it, but they're going after it piecemeal, without a plan in mind. Mm -hmm. So they might go after broadband or ultra-fast broadband to give themselves an edge, or they might go and go to improve their smart grid or their emergency response, or maybe they start mm -hmm. to look at smart transportation. But they do this in their traditional silos. And that costs more because they inevitably reinvent the same wheels over and over again. And it also makes it much harder for them to share data. And at the end of the day, as we've seen with Facebook, as we've seen with Web 2.0, it's the sharing of the data. It's the mashing up of the data. It's the data analytics that really creates the amazing new applications. Mm -hmm.